This paper introduces an extended model of reinforcement learning in the cortex basal ganglia network by the hypothetical involvement of two cortical regions, the orbitofrontal cortex, and the anterior cingulate cortex. Neurocognitive studies showed that neurons of the orbitofrontal cortex get activated for expectation of immediate reward. Therefore they are the key reward structure in the brain. It was also shown that neurons in the anterior cingulate cortex work as an early warning system that prevents repeating mistakes. Our model is extended from our previously proposed model of reinforcement learning in the cortex basal ganglia network where the information flow related to decision making involves four steps. The first step is linked to the sensory cortex which identifies the present state. In the second step, the striatum calculates the expected future reward that an action would bring when taken on a particular state. Step 3 involves the pallidum for selecting an action from the possible options. Step 4 evaluates the action after execution, and an outcome is obtained by the help of substantial agra. Neuroanatomical studies of cortical and subcortical loops involved in reward-based learning showed that cortical inputs of the striatum can be mainly categorized into two parts. The first part involves the OFC that targets the ventral striatum. This part is involved in reward prediction. The second part involves the OCC that targets the dorsal striatum. This part is responsible for finding the optimal policy. Based on these studies, our model highlights three important connections. The connection between the OFC and the ventral striatum. The connection between the FCC and the dorsal striatum. And the connection between the ventral striatum and the dorsal striatum. The OFC is involved in coding reward information. It becomes responsive to the outcomes of the actions performed and then generates reward information which flows down to the ventral striatum. Studies showed that there exists a ventral to dorsal gradient within the connections of the striatum, which suggests an information flow from the ventral striatum to the dorsal striatum. On the other side, the activation in the SCC takes place when human tries to take a risky action and also after taking an action that has resulted in a failure. Therefore it is involved in success-failure coding. The SCC along with the dorsal striatum helps in carefully choosing an action depending on its current state and past experience of success and failure. In order to prove the effectiveness of the approach, we propose an enhanced actor critic method that is guided by experiences of success and failure. Failures help the agent to explore regions by avoiding past mistakes. Successful experiences allow exploiting those regions that guarantee the agent to reach its goal. For an agent trying to learn the optimal policy using reinforcement learning, it is not only important to explore the environment by taking actions and receiving reward, but it is also necessary to keep note of the actions taken at a given state that led to a successful or failed exploration. The advantage is the following, when the agent visits the same state next time, and if the agent has an experience of a success or a failure on this state, then the agent may prefer to go for exploitation by taking or avoiding the past actions respectively rather than to go for exploration and try out some new actions. In the exploration phase, an agent explores the states and the actions that can be taken on those states by following the four steps of actor critic method. At each chance during a trial, the agent verifies if it has reached the goal or not. On reaching the goal, the agent adds all the states and actions taken in that trial into the success experience. While, at the end of all the chances during a trial, if the agent fails to reach the goal, then it compares the reward it receives at the present state with the one in the previous state. If the immediate reward received by taking an action at a state during chance, C, of a trial is less than that during chance, C, of a previous trial, then it suggests that the action taken at a state during chance, C, might not possibly be the right one and hence the state action pair will be updated to the failure experience. Both actor critic and enhanced actor critic methods were applied to two different problems. The first one was a 2D grid world problem where an agent had to reach a goal with obstacles in its path. For both methods, 200 experiment trials were carried out. Each time, the agent started from a random position and the goal was to reach the center of the grid. Here we show paths taken by the agent using the actor critic and the enhanced actor critic to reach the goal. 
The arrows show the action taken by the agent on each state. In A and C we show instances of the agent trying to reach the goal using the actor critic method, whereas B and D show instances of the agent trying to reach the goal using the enhanced actor critic method. In both scenarios, the enhanced actor critic method leads to a more optimized policy in reaching the goal compared with the actor critic. This graph shows the rate of learning of both methods. The slope of the curve for the actor critic method is less than that of the enhanced actor critic method, which suggests that the enhanced actor critic method learns faster than the actor critic method. The second problem was to make the humanoid robot learn how to play bowling in a simulated environment. In this experiment, the overall performance was better using the enhanced actor critic method. Moreover, the robot had been successful in finding out a reasonable policy, given the limited number of trials, unlike the actor critic method. This suggests that the enhanced actor critic method has a faster rate of learning. To summarize, the results showed significant improvement using the enhanced actor critic method both in terms of performance and rate of learning compared with the standard actor critic method. As a conclusion, the introducing of the notion of success-failure experiences in the cortex basal ganglia-inspired reinforcement learning enhanced the learning process in terms of efficiency and latency.